courage and pluck and the do or die spirit of you. It reads very much like fiction, but the strange part of all is the truth. For a slim blonde lad of 25 with a faith in his aeroplane decided to fly from New York to Paris. A great many fought him in vain. But off he flew, he was all alone. You had to admire his pluck. While a breathless world with a prayer on its lips wished him Godspeed and good luck. Call it courage, bravery, or downright guts. The Roaring Twenties revealed what we most valued in ourselves in an era when heroes showed no fear and at times no constraint. It's fitting that the Goodyear blimps would rise to the occasion. Symbolized by the idols of the day, Charles Lindbergh and Amelia Earhart taking their spirit of adventure, their leap of faith, and demonstrating the ability to create a lasting legacy in the hearts and minds of the American public. I'm gonna hook this on in here, and you take me up to about 1,500 feet, and uh, wave to me when, they get, when we get that altitude, and I'll cut loose, go off and dive and recover. From amateurs to pros, the aviators were soaring right along with Goodyear. In 1929, Amelia Earhart christened the Defender, Goodyear's flagship of the fleet. Largest of the public relations blimps of the day, the Defender could reach a top speed of 62 miles per hour. The primary mission of the Goodyear blimp fleet was to make the American public airship conscious. While the airplane had become by then a common sight, the only lighter than aircraft were the Army and Navy airships, rarely seen by the public and then at a distance. The Goodyear blimps could come down out of the sky and mix with the people of America. And quite a mix it was. From 1925 to 1941, sometimes flying several in formation, the Goodyear blimp fleet made over 150,000 flights and traveled over 4 million miles just for the fun of it. <laughs> 